locker right here. You chill over there? I'm busy. I'm gonna get my dog quest done, hopefully, really quick here. Let's go push somebody. I wanna die to somebody. How much action do we miss out on? If we die to somebody? So, bitch, come here. We're in this together, boys. That was... I thought we were in that together. Fire is going to kill me, right? Can we set the birds on fire? <laughs> All right. Spectator mode. Here we go. All right. So let's get a feel for the lobby. It is a one boss lobby. So we've got Mac, level 100, Prestige 11. Who's your teammate? Max got throwing axes. He's got tomahawks. Let's go. Tomahawks one shot. I did not know that. Cobalt souls. Cobalt souls. Rank 99. Prestige 2. Pushing for that level 100. Trying to hit prestige 3. I hope you do it. Cobalt souls and Mac. We're pulling for you. Next up we've got intense. Rank 58. Also got some throwing knives. Prestige 5. With their teammate, Barricade. Rank 100, using the Bomb Lance. An interesting choice of weapon. I like having the melee and the explosive at the same time. Intense. Are we going to throw some... Uh... Nope. We're not going to do it. We're not going to throw axes. We're going to leave our friend to be poisoned. We're going to check back in on you guys in a minute. Hopefully, the team cohesion gets better. There we go. We got triple box rank 36. And faded fate rank 98 prestige 2. Pushing for the prestige 3 himself. Hopefully, you can pull it off. You rocking the reaper skin? Let's get a better look. Box, can you go take a look at your friend? Because I'm pretty sure that's the Reaper. This gentleman is not. We are not going to see my favorite skin today. Cobalt Souls has been ADS staring at one location this entire time. My friend, get it together. All right. We've got Nuts Almond back in with Lizard Folk. Coming back for round two. Lizard Folk immediately hitting that ready up button. Getting back into the next one. Now beat an emulator to death. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen it done before. What a time to be alive. Okay. Next we've got Start Trapple. Rank 100 Prestige 1. And Totemic Tolek. Rank 85, Prestige 9. Coming in at the highest level that we've seen today. What an absolute legend. That's Pinecone Charm. Happily showing it off. Great iron sights on that gun. Good lord. They've spotted out somebody. I don't know if he saw that. Maybe it was a zombie and it just moved quickly. Definitely looked like they spawned, they saw somebody. 
barricade pushing up. Intense on the front line. They clearly hear somebody inside this building. Dogs have been alerted outside. Let's see who it is. We've got Mac. Mac and Cobalt Souls pushing up. Cobalt still staring at the same location. They're going to be meeting here at the station. Shots ringing out on the left side. Mac, you're going to have to move a little bit faster than that, buddy. These guys are good. Rank 100, Prestige 11. I apologize. Mac, you are the highest level we've seen today. Heard somebody take some damage on the right side. You hear the gunshots on the left. Somebody's dead on the left side. We'll check back in with the bar. Just in time to see Cobalt absolutely annihilate somebody. Who are they fighting against? Fighting against Intense. What a banger of a shot. Intense immediately set on fire, keeping his namesake. Good lord. You got utility, boys. Now's the time to use it. Barricade firing off that bomb lance. What a weapon. Better be careful with that bomb lance, buddy. You could have taken your teammate out there. It's a wide swing. Intense holding the front line. Lands another beautiful shot. Mac, you've got plenty of time here. Get the steps on the left side. Get the steps on the right side as well. One of the major things to keep in mind here is that as you're hearing the zombie footsteps and the player footsteps at the same time, the moment those start blending together, you are in some serious trouble. I die to it constantly. Mac putting eyes on both party members. Bomb lands fire and miss. Intense is down. Mac with the break action. Oh. You hate to see it. Cobalt Souls and Mac taking down one team. Let's check back in up on boxes. In Faded Fate. Now hearing the shots. Are we at the same location? Ladies and gentlemen. Boxes and Faded Fates now seeing. They're going to third party the shit out of this. Mac. Cobalt, you guys got to move. Take the shot. Take the shot. Team shots. Oh my god, they're playing well off one another. That cohesion is incredible. You know that it's a duo. We all selected duos only. Good lord. Box pushing up aggressively. Wanting to get that angle. You've got two people down. One could definitely be getting revived. Gotta be careful. Looks like... Box is doing the weapon swap mid-fight. And it pays off. Mac and Cobalt are down. to faded fate in boxes. Good lord. This place has not seen this, most, this much action since the Bayou became cursed. Faded Fate, what an absolute legend. Boxes coming up strong. My friend, I wish I had a name to call you. The fact that I don't hurts my soul. But well done. Got Totemic Tolek coming in, and they're looking at Lawson Station 2. Oh man, we are about to see a third party of the third party, ladies and gentlemen. If these guys can loot quickly, they're going to be able to get out. Somebody just damage yo? Tolek, 85, Prestige 9. He's got the hours in. He knows that they can't just rush this. They don't know how many people are alive or dead. It could be a lull in combat where these guys are healing. Looks like they're opting to take a long... Long path. Who is this? Star coming out of nowhere. See a person on the left. You saw them at the gate. Oh my god, he doesn't see him. He's gonna get shot. Sees him last second. Box is taken off like a bat out of hell. First shot lands. There's another one on the right. We're getting team shots. Oh my god. 
So Tim McTolak coming back in. He's got to avenge his friend or he's got to win this fight and revive. Which one is it going to be? Getting stuck. You hear the rush. You know he's in the right side. Going to peek it. Two shots, two misses. Totem. Got to let... Oh! Misses the first shot. What a wonderful disengage, though, coming out of him. Pulling the double pistols. And Totem is down. Star and Totem down to boxes in faded fate. Now, my question is, I don't think there's anybody else left on the map. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our final team. Ring that victory bell. Absolutely. All they have to do is kill and extract. Everybody is dead. And here's the best part. They don't know how many people have been here, how many teams have fought, and if anybody's left or not. So while they don't know that they're the final team on the map and they have free reign, they're going to have to continue to play as if they have a million people still on this planet. Running at them. Full speed, guns blazing. We've got two out of three on the scrap collector. We're going to get one more. We're going to go in, we're going to see a boss kill, and we're going to see an extract. They're going to get the most information that they're going to have this entire match from after they've killed the boss and they pick up those bounties. Once we get a bounty pickup, they use that dark vision and they see that there's nobody else around them. We're going to see a level of relaxation come out of Faded Fate that he probably hasn't felt this entire match. Got another body here. They see the guns. It's the break action. Mac, are you sure that's you, buddy? You had the break action, shoddy. There's our final clue. It's going to tell them that bada boom, bada bing. Boss isn't even here. It just happened to all go down here at the station. Faded picked up Odom's weapon. Well done. Let's see. Boxes coming in strong. Keeping that dark vision up. Giving them that location. Letting them know where they need to go. We got 32 minutes and 45 seconds. More than enough time to play with here. We're going to move up. We're going to see a scrap collector kill. We should see a clean exit. Now the question is going to be, do they die to the boss? And remember, you've got a rank 36 with you. Scrap collector's got traps out the wazoo. We're going to see doorways covered in shrapnel. Goodness. Chase down gonna run through it thank all that damage ladies and gentlemen i'm not gonna lie i probably if you've already made that much noise i'd shoot him i'd go ahead and just shoot him we got the region coming out for boxes faded's gonna go ahead and hit that full self-cast heal What a good looking weapon. Was that an ice pick? We do. We see the two handed axe getting picked up. Go ahead and put that horse down. Are we going to see the axe get picked back up? We sure as hell are. Right, so they're scoping it out. They don't know they're the only ones here. This is exactly what we were talking about earlier. There's nobody left on the map except for these two. Don't know that that would have been my play, but not going to lie. Enters into dark vision and clears the poison. Question is, Box, do you have that option? Looks like that's not going to be the case. Box is also getting held by an emulator. Emulator explosion with the poison. Box, you are in a blender right now, my friend. Get inside, close the door. Nope. 
that emulator said it's coming with faded flying out the door and into support of boxes melee already prepped swinging around almost taking boxes out what a time now with that burned health bar we're not going to see a full health boxes going into this boss fight faded's gonna have to main tank All right, Scrap Beak, let's see it happen. Strong melee decision here. In and out. The issue is now they've gone out this door. Is it going to get trapped? That they may not be this boss, and I'm sitting here just being wildly incorrect, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that puts little, little traps down, no? Because it collects... This needs to be charged. Strong smack coming out of Scrap Beak here. Goodness. Saving those vitality shots. Baited, cool, calm, and collected. Walking in, walking out, baiting right back to this door. Two melee swings out. Two melee swings out. There's the first one. There's the second one. Now, interestingly enough, because they're not shooting, they're not blowing him up, there's potential loot to drop off of this boss. And as you can see, the first trap does go down. Looks like that first entrance is not going to be an option unless you snake through the side. Are we going to see some bleed damage coming out? We sure are. Faded stepping in the trap, getting chased down immediately. Ops to stop the bleeding while being chased. Not my favorite play coming out of Faded here. Let me see. We've got no help coming out of Boxes, who's just sitting here in dark vision, giving feedback. Now, not knowing that he's alone here, he leaves his back wide open. For attack by any other player. Interesting play coming out here. So they've opted to use the utility that remains on boxes. Looks like we've got one vitality shot coming out. Or remaining, I should say before Faded's going to have to dip into his own. Scrappy, not even at half health. Looking to maximize profit. Faded getting, to himself, getting himself into a bit of a precarious situation here. One or two swings more out of Mr. Beak, and he would have been down. And there we have it. Entryway is officially trapped. Just you know, stand in it. Cause it to break, take the extra damage, opting to still not heal. Are we finally going to see the use of explosives and or gunfire out of fading? Fox still not assisting in any way. There we have it. First guns are coming out. Barely missing the melee. Gonna walk into them again, break and disable them. We're going to stop the bleed. We're going to step in. Generate another bleed.
There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a boss kill coming out from Faded in squares, boxes. Again, I would adore a name to call you, my friend. Looks like plenty of dropped extra loot to be had. Grab some extra XP, grab some extra items. There were some traps available. Go ahead and put that down. We make sure that Faded puts this in a location where Square is definitely going to step on it. Looking forward to when you pick your friend up from this one. I cannot tell you how many times I have placed a trap and stepped on it myself. What a stellar for performance coming out of Faded and Square. Pulling out not one, but two kills. Boss kill. It looks like we're going to have a clean extraction. Now if we look, they've got a great extract just north of the docks. 22 minutes remaining. Or 23, I'm sorry. Plenty of time. You know, the attack of a bow and arrow in a build where you are not running a bow and arrow, my friend. What an interesting way to begin. You guys were last to the fight, but first to the boss. Congratulations on a win. We're proud of you. All you got to do now is not die to the emulators outside. We'll be home free. Roughly 30 seconds more coming out here before this boss goes. Now, I want to remind you, throughout this entire time, they have no knowledge. Man, 2 o'clock in the morning is not the best time to do this. They have no knowledge of whether or not there are other players still on this map. They could have hunters sitting outside waiting for them, watching. The moment they pick up these bounties, the moment they exit this building, Anybody's going to look at this map and they're going to say, hey, you got two options, north or south. And they've plenty of plays that could be done. They could be sending somebody to the north, one to the south, to see which exit they take out. Who knows? Until they pick up these bounties and they use that dark vision to see that nobody else is around them, this is high alert for Faded and Box. First bounty picked up. We're going to see the spin. Good job. I told you guys. Fox coming in, touching some traps. Now, this one ended up being a scrappy trap, not his friends. But nonetheless. Faded continuing to play Sherpa here. First shot into the sky, second one into his arm, ladies and gentlemen. Third shot, still not enough to kill him. Left a square to pop out a quick melee. We're going to continue to see dark vision used for them to scan the area. Faded just not caring about whether or not he's getting poisoned here. That is not a luxury that most players like myself have. I am ready at any moment to pop that thing in the head from a distance. So that I don't have to worry about my health getting chunked down. It gives me an inventory slot as well, so I don't have to bring an antidote. Or, let's take a look at this. Physician, ambidextrous, necromancer. Ooh. 
Fuck me. Dew Claw. How's he clearing so fast? We're coming up in the exit now, guys. Clean, easy kill. I was worried. Boxes being the level that they are, taking the damage that they were taking as they went, I was concerned that they would we would have a scrap beak. Hunter kill. It does look like, however, if we look, we've got Necromancer coming out. Nice zombie kill. Fantastic. So we would have been able to see a revival. Wow. Well done, Hive. I probably would have used it on the armored, but, you know, good for them. Fantastic melee. And there we have it. Beautiful win coming out of Faded and Box. What an interesting start to that game. I mean, coming out to Lawson Station and seeing every team on the map converge. The amount of map knowledge and skill coming out. Me 